gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Is Strange. We've been through the party, talked with everyone, more into Victoria, and now we're getting the hell out of Dodge. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Uh, oh my god! Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Okay then, it's time to get jiggy with it. As the young pals say. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Okay. Alone at night at so a junkyard. Out here. Exactly my point. So where was she buried? Buried again? No, not here. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Somewhere at the edge, if I remember Rachel. correctly.
Chloe, come over here, quick. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe, look out. What the fuck? <sighs> right between the eyes. Well, hello there, Mr. Jefferson. And that's it for episode four, The Dark Room. Ah, only one more episode to go. So, yeah. For all of you that didn't play the game, well, this must have been quite a development for you, even though I did leave quite a few tips through my playthrough that I didn't actually like Jefferson. Although I was trying to be subtle about it, but I know that I'm as subtle as a fucking train wreck, but uh, what can you do? I'm not perfect, but I do try to entertain. Entertain, entertain, god damn. English, work for me, god damn it. Anywho, skip. Uh, let's see. So, 44% refused Chloe's request um, for the euthanization. So I'm in the minority, but that was actually fairly close. 60% um, stopped Warren from beating up Nathan in the majority. Uh, no one got hurt, 72%. Uh, yeah, we could actually kill Frank if we had the gun that she lost. Uh, and 72% believed your warning so yeah that's nice you saved the blue jay you didn't disturb the bird's nest you got david's files in another way kid helped you find nathan's room uh, because we have always been helpful to kate and supported her and everything so yeah you motivated Daniel to attend the Vortex Club party. Holy shit, only 31%? Really? Okay, then. Uh, you didn't leave a message on Warren's slate 80%. I didn't e even actually see the prompt to leave a message there. Okay, you didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. Yeah, I was actually preoccupied. And you helped Alyssa 75%. That's that's nice. And now for the final episode. Please. Don't do headphone users that was loud as hell anywho play episodes polarized the dark let us begin previously on life is strange whoa, whoa. 
What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? And kaboom. Yeah, that sucks to watch every time I play this game. Uh, the consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I did. Hopefully. Wakey, wakey. Carbonara and bakey. Square Enix, I know, I know, and I can't wait, can't wait for the game that's been announced for, I think, next year, Final Fantasy 16. Uh, there has been rumors that there will be a PC release on the game, but I am not holding my breath because for now... Uh, the only one that has been announced is the PS5 rendition, so yeah, that's gonna suck because I don't have one. So I'm gonna have to be patient if I want to make a playthrough of that game. If a PC port ever even uh, releases. And for the Final Fantasy VII Remake as well. Oh, right, I can actually move my camera now. Chloe? Yeah, no what? Chloe in sight. Where? It's a dark room. Yep, and we're back here. We're tied up. We can do anything. Is anybody out there? Please, help! There is Victoria. Victoria, wake up, wake up. Uh, the catch. Help, somebody help me. 
Finally, I'm free. Almost. Um, let's see. Photo. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Uh, Sarah. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Yeah, he's a weird son of a bitch. Hold that stare there! Stay still! And the mask comes off. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. Of course you do, you hipster fuck. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room... Is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed. that Nathan killed her in self defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Uh, Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No, no. Uh, now don't move, or this no. will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. 
Look at her eyes. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take oh. a shot. So yeah, he's a sick little fuck and he needs to die. And we have revealed his grand plan. He's using Andre's oh, children. Jesus. I can't believe that happened. For his photo op. So sick. Uh, even with the warning, we didn't manage to save her. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Mm. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Uh... We'll see her again. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Okay, so this photo we actually didn't manage to change anything, though we have managed to see what uh, Jefferson's plan is and how he knew where we would be, so... Wait! Jefferson couldn't handle stains you on his have photos. To get us out of here. You Good. Have to. Now I can use them. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay, let's try it. This might work. Please work. Sharpening, sharpening. No there we go. So innocent. And kaboom. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. 
replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell? Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Mm -hmm. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Um, let's see. Why Rachel? Why yeah. Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did you know she also had a connection with Frank? Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good. Because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject. Like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you.
Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your workout. Okay, now I need to figure out... I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. This um, is purity personified. Uh, okay. Speak. Wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Uh, get me my diary, you, you motherfucker. You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. So let's focus in on the photo and transport ourselves back to our room. I think it's our room, I think. No. Come on. There we go. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner oh, no, and capture you classroom. in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... Let's see, not capturing... I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <sighs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that let's, was awkward. Uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. <laughs> you can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real to easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Okay, so now that we're back at school at day one, um, I think I'm going to be stopping the episode right here and continuing onwards because there's going to be a lot of other uh, situations we'll be going through, through a lot of dialogue and everything. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Sayonara dudes and dudettes, it's you, Audi.